This is a video on Blickman's warming cabinets. Today we'll be talking specifically about the current controller on our warming cabinets. This controller is shown on a 7922TG model warming cabinet with a glass door, as you can see. So let's start by going to this lock over here. You'll be given a key. In order to lock the warming cabinet door, simply insert the key. Make sure the lock lines up with the little slit in the door. Remove the key, and sure enough, the door is locked. To unlock, simply turn it back, and now you can open the door again. Starting over here, this is our logo, followed by operation instructions. Then we have the power switch. As you can see, currently the model is turned on. If you want to turn it off, simply push it the other way. This next set of keys allows you to control the um, to lock and unlock the controls on the on the controller. Um, so this is great for your OR manager or whoever will be managing the settings on the warming cabinet. To lock, simply turn, and you'll see that this light is activated when it's successfully locked. To add even more security, you can add a passcode so that you have to enter in the passcode as well to change any settings. To unlock, simply turn the key back, you'll see the light is off, and you'll be able to change the settings again. This keypad here allows you to navigate the screen with these directional arrows, as well as input any numbers you could need. You can also change the settings to show Fahrenheit or Celsius. You can set the temperature, add the password, and then obviously clear and enter anything when you're entering values. There's also a USB port right here, perhaps for logging data or whatever else you might need it for. And then we have our display all the way over here. As you can see, we have the actual temperature inside the warming cabinet and then what it was set to, the set point at the bottom. Our warming cabinets um, are typically within plus or minus one degree Fahrenheit of the set point. So as you can see here, we're perfectly on the set point exactly. Additionally, you can add an alarm and that will light up when you, in, when you activate the alarm to show people that there is an alarm in, fact, in effect visually and then also if the warming cabinet's tampered with, there will be an audible alarm. If you'd like to learn more about our warming cabinets or other features on our warming cabinets, feel free to visit our website or check out our other YouTube videos.